Hey fellow explorers, today I'm at Las Vegas International Airport and I'm going to show you around the Seagate's home to Southwest Airlines. I'm going to turn the camera on so you can see what I can see. And first, let's start with a map. This is where we are right now. I just came in through the Seagate checkpoint. There's a train that'll take you from here all the way to like this section with C1 and C19. But we're going to walk starting from here, C25 to the end. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering if there are slot machines here, yes, there are. We'll see plenty of them. If you want to go to the D gates, there's a train that'll connect you to those over there. And I do have a video all of the D gates where American, United and Delta fly out of. You can find that after you watch this video. Seagates, primarily the home of Southwest Airlines. You'll also find them flying out of the adjacent B Gates too. This is one of the older parts of the airport and really one of the least nice, if you ask me, but they still do have shoe shines right here. Yes, if you got your cowboy boots or your leather dress shoes, you can get them shined right here before you board the plane. Uh, Cairo port. If your back isn't feeling great, well, there's a little chiropractor right here. Las Vegas is now home to the Raiders that play at Allegiant Stadium, so you can pick up your Raiders merch along with some collectibles from Brighton. There is one of the many Hudson gift shop outposts. Uh, there are lots of them. When you watch my uh, D Gates video. I made fun of how many Hudsons are over there in the D Gates. I think there were like six or seven Hudsons over in the D Gates. There's a lot of them throughout this airport. We have the Beach Bar and Grill. Get you to ready to rock your taste buds with that burger of the Sammy's Beach Bar and Grill. There's a little food court up here. What have we got in this food court? We have a Via Italian kitchen. We've got a Popeyes and we've got a Wendy's and you know what this Popeyes has got my name on it because I'm hungry and so I'm gonna get a chicken sandwich and then I'm gonna pick this up after I've had my sandwich all right here we go spicy chicken sandwich how much is this chicken sandwich eleven dollars and forty nine cents if you buy this at a regular Popeyes outside the airport probably about four dollars so that's a 300% airport markup I hope it's 300% as good uh, I always like to put the honey on it. I don't call it honey, they call it honey sauce, but uh, you know, even though it's expensive, I just need a little pick-me-up for my final leg home. Mmm. Juicy chicken sandwich. And I love the honey and the spicy combination together. All right, well, it turns out that actually was a pretty good chicken sandwich. Uh, now on my way to the gate. Uh, other food that I like here at Las Vegas Airport <clears throat> while we're walking. I like Shake Shack. It's over in between the A and the B gates. Didn't quite have time to get over there since my flight is here in the C gate today. Uh, I also like the Centurion Lounge over in the D gates, except the line was much too long to eat there. So Popeyes is what it was. All right, uh, here we've got Fresh Market on the go, where you've got like bananas and snacks and more slot machines. The quintessential Vegas slot machine. The Wheel of Fortune slot machine. It is busy here. This airport is like always busy. There's just, you know, Vegas is like definitely one of the busiest tourist tourism, busiest cities for tourism, most popular cities for tourism in the USA, and the airport definitely reflects it. There's always people coming or going. We got people standing here over at Jersey Mike's Subs. They make pretty good sandwiches, New York style sandwiches, although they're from New Jersey, pretty close. Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs. If you want something cheaper than the uh, $10 chicken sandwich, you can get one hot dog at Nathan's for $5. If I saw that earlier, I might have actually got a Nathan's Hot Dogs. Uh, they are famous for the hot dog eating competition held in Coney Island every year. There's a little Lego vending machine. Someone's taking a picture of it because they clearly think that's really cool, where you can pick up uh, Legos for the kiddos on the plane or Legos for the kiddos when you come home. Or Legos for adults, either way. I mean, I get that a lot of adults like to assemble Legos two. All right, we are now coming into the kind of big open back area of the seat gates. This is where the train would take you if you took the train. Uh, and uh, what do we have on the right? We have a Pei Wei Asian diner. Uh, 
Asian, really mostly Chinese food over at Peiwei. They have a, like a to-go section where you can get, you know, Kung Pao chicken, broccoli beef, most of the entree is about 15 bucks, or you could sit down in the bar area over here. Pandora for jewelry. Brookstone, if you need some uh, tech, they've got suitcases and massagers uh, and uh, all the travel necessities you might want. Something smells really good over here. Is it the Auntie Anne's pretzels? No, it was the, the popcorn that I just passed. The Neon Museum has a shop here, which is really pretty neat. Is that this gift shop or is that around the corner? I can't tell. This says Neon Museum and it's that gift shop that seemed to have no neon. Okay, well, the Neon Museum is a really cool place in Las Vegas along the Strip. Uh, like at the end of the Strip near downtown, near Fremont Street, where they've got a whole bunch of old neon from casinos that are like long gone and out of business. And so you can go there and see this neon, the neon signs from days before. Uh, the food court is right here. We're gonna pop in that in a second as we go around the other side. Uh, but just to get to the end first, before we do that, this is where the final gates are at the end of this horseshoe. C 11, 12, 14. Again, you can tell really quite busy here. Slot machines all throughout this terminal as you've been seeing them. And yes, some more here at the end along with the infamous Hudson as it is now. If anybody from Hudson is watching this video, I have nothing against Hudson really, but you're easy to pick on when there's a store every 35 feet. Okay, now this takes us, we wrap around that central food court and the restrooms and we're going back towards the train just on the other side of this square. We'll pop in the food court to see what's here before we make our way to the C1 gates. We have a uh, barbecue right here. What kind of barbecue do we've got? We've got barbecue brisket sandwiches, pulled pork chicken sandwiches, mac and cheese. How good is that being pre-packaged? I don't know, but the way you pay for it, the sandwiches are $16. You just place them in here and then you pay for it. So it's like all kind of like a self-service sort of checkout uh, in this. It's a nice kind of like bright, cheery food court over here. There's also a Las Market. We got Las Market, kind of like a sandwich shop. They've also got some danishes and salads, flatbreads, breakfasts soups and then there was a burger king in the middle the burger king uh, you can order at these kiosks interesting wallpaper in the back you see all the spades hearts clubs and diamonds from the deck of cards uh, this is a non-smoking airport but they have smoking in certain areas if you want to smoke some of the areas around the slot machines like this one are glassed in you can smoke in there I know for my smokers out there, that could be important. If I got a long layover, where do I smoke? Las Vegas has got you covered. We've got Jose Cuervo Taquilaria for your taquilas, not taqueria, taquilaria. Ethel M. Chocolates here on the left, which is a famous Las Vegas chocolate shop. We'll pop in here and take a look at some of the chocolates. Um, you can get them as a box or you can get them uh, with a fox, haha, <laughs> Dr. Seuss. Or you can get like individual ones like this. Uh, 12 piece box are $40 selected out of that case. Or get your Taste of Las Vegas collection in the tin for $45. We got more slot machines in the section right at the end of the train. We got some crazy rich Asians. We got the Wheel of Fortune. These are the trams that take you back to baggage claim, advertising the Awakening Show at the Win. This sign advertising the Osaka Japanese Bistro. And what do we got? We got a grab and go back here. And uh, any anything else in this direction as we get to C1, C2, C3, there is Corcoran's Irish pub right down there. And through this window, you can see one of those trams pulling in to the airport. 
All right, with fellow explorers. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of Las Vegas International Airport, right here, you can check out my tour of the D gates. Uh, or if you want to see more of my Las Vegas guides, you'll find my whole Vegas playlist right here. Or if you want to dive into even more airport tours, you'll find my whole airport tour playlist up on the screen too and in the description below. As usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you in the next video.